we developed a technology in my group called flash jewel heating, where you put you put a high voltage and a high current through a material that is not highly conductive, some that that is has about a one ohm resistance, which means that you can conduct electricity to, through it. It's much like your your toaster. You have this coil that you put a voltage across it, and you run this current through. But there's enough resistance that coil gets red hot very quickly. That's flash jewel heating, and uh, it's like the old incandescent light bulbs, and you see this big glow. And what we learned is that we can put any carbon material between elect electrodes and flash jewel heat it, turn it into graphene. But then we realized that we could take certain materials, say industrial waste, like fly ash, which is the residue that's left over after burning coal, the inorganic material. We could flash it and we could get rare earth elements to come out. We could do that. We could get other metals from industrial waste and then also consumer waste, consumer electronics. And you can put a high voltage, high current and then we learned if you put chlorine in during the process, then they come out much more easily because you convert them from metal zero or metal oxides to metal chlorides, which are much more volatile. You lower the boiling point by 3,000 degrees and then they'll come out. And just based on the reactivity of a certain metal to chlorine at these higher temperatures, we can predict when they're going to come out and we can separate them coming out.